All right, so Bianca thinks that that overhang looks pretty good. I agree. So we're gonna go ahead and go with that angle. Now we're gonna cut the coping and then cut the bird's mouth and then repeat that multiple times. And then we'll have the rafter ties ready to tie into the rafters. All right, so there are two screws that we put into the siding over here. And it's like one of these up here that we missed the target and it's just sitting there spinning and didn't actually tighten down the siding at all and I'm worried that it's gonna let water through because there's no tension at all and so I got this stuff here um, it's basically just a waterproof <sighs> poly polymer type uh, thing and it's really nice and it can actually be applied to wet surfaces, which is why I got it. But this is the only thing I can find that I think will work. Uh, I'm sure you could use pretty much anything. But I'm going to go ahead and pull those two screws out, apply a little bit of this on the head, and then put it back in place. And it should prevent any water from pooling past. This is Bianca's safe cutting technique with the circular saw. Is it better? <laughs> Just setting the guard for an angled cut. We have this set up for the bird's mouth. I'm not going to try to even do a how to video on what a bird's mouth cut is or how to obtain it, but let's just say it's a slight angled cut that allows you to have a flat seat on the end of the building so you can nail it in flush. All right, so we decided, you know, before we actually get to work on the rafters, we're just gonna finish up the steps real quick here, or the step. So what we're doing, we actually are using decking screws for the first time ever as decking screws. We have a decking screw here and we're using the head as the spacer, right? So what we do is we take the board, move it out, put this in there, and then move it till it stops. And then we check this edge here to make sure it's flush, which it's not yet. And so I'll just get this board and just kind of tap it forward. And then we're good. And then I'll drill this side in. So we're going to repeat that until it's done. And then we are going to actually do the rafters. It's not that. I was going to say, it's not that you do all the work, it's that I have to film sometimes. Got the ends of the screws in. The step is basically in place. It only took six two by four by eight. No cuts necessary. Same with the sheeting. No cuts necessary. Gotta love that. For the front, yeah. The sides will have to be cut, but for the front, no cuts. It's awesome. Now what we're doing is the center gaps are a little off, and so now we're just grabbing a hammer, gapping it, and then putting the screws in that way. You can see like this gap right here is really close together. It's like this. Now this one the gap's too big, so she's kind of forcing the board forward to close the gap. And then I will come in there right now and sink in the screw. I'm not gonna be allowed on the job site. You can if you want to. But I can't do it by myself if you want to film. Hmm. 
No, there's a screw stuck in there. I'll get it out. I can this one in. Awesome. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Well, it went all the way through, so whatever. We can get it later. Three more to go. Oh, it's closing the gap on its own. Do the rear one. Nice. Slightly loose, but it's fine. Ah, uh, all good. What is that board for? Uh, because I don't know if I'm going to have to push it against something, so I need something to push it. And my knee is not very good to push against the hammer, so a board. Oh, gotcha. Perfect gap. Almost. I want to get that new, like, stealth quiet hammer drill. It doesn't hurt your ears when you use it, supposedly. Sensitive ears, huh? Yep. Oh well. Perfect. Our steps are done. All right. Does it hold you? Yeah. Does it feel solid? Yeah. If I step just on one, it kind of bends a little bit, but not that much either. Maybe we can just put like a couple more on the front one just in case. Yeah. All right. Sweet. The front deck is done. That was a really hard deck. Whew. I am putting all these boards in line and clamping them together. So we can make one cut and cut all four together. All four cuts at once? Yep. That sounds like a grand plan. Where are your marks for the, oh, here they are. We'll see how this works. Ha ha. Have you seen me? Any? Hey. Clamp to the best of my abilities, sir. How do you get it that sharp? <laughs> Whoops! What happened, Via? I put the clamp way too close. I can't use this. Nope. 
So are you telling me I have to reclamp again? No, free hand it. Here it goes. You lucked out. Bianca! You just wasted four two by fours. I didn't. <laughs> Alright, well, you know if the roof falls off in the future, I, I don't I don't know what to think might be the problem. <laughs> Alright, so now we're gonna make the other cut. Yeah, that looks probably like better depth to go with. <laughs> All right, here we go to the other side of the board. Why are we doing this? Because we want to keep the same angle on the saw blade. If you look here, you'll actually see that that scribe line is not straight up and down. It is at an angle, like five degrees maybe or something like that. Very slight. But it's an angle nonetheless, so it'll be easier for us to make the all of them at once if we do the cuts using the same angle at the same time. Looks like a custom safety guard you got right there. Yep. Those safety guards always suck. Hey, you weren't trying to cut the board in half? All right, so that angled cut is done. Now we can unclamp this, get the saw blade set up for the second and last cuts. Ah, uh, that doesn't matter. We are now attempting to square the blade back to 90 with the fence so that we can actually have a nice straight flush cut. This helps the rafters from being at a weird angle later when we hang them. Oh, there you go, that's, that's a greater idea. I like it. Except it's not quite, you see how it's touching up here? But there's a gap down there. Yep. And I believe this is the max that this will go. Sweet, so it's not it's square by the factory. What's that? Oh wow, if you look in here, here let me pull it sideways. This is slightly taller than the sides, so this touches this and it's not touching at 90 degrees. So does that mean we can't make it 90? Yep, ever. Ever? Ah, uh, just go get out a file. So we're now going to make our 90-ish cuts that the saw makes us use. I like it, dude. Duct tape on the fence guard, not 90 degrees. This is a great saw. This is a great saw. <laughs> Believe it or not, this tool still works, okay? It doesn't matter. Oh yeah, now what we're trying to do is we're trying to make this tiny cut here. Line. Very slight. I was going to go deeper here, but then it would have to be like a four inch cut down here, and you only be using this much of it, so we're going to go with a shallow cut. Too much discussion about framing squares and safety and all this stuff. Yeah, that's exactly what's going to happen, too. Yep. Well, it's time for a break. I'll figure it out inside. Break time, figure it out later. Weird cuts. Take time.